so here in this video what we are going to learn is about uh, you know running count or you can also say that incremental counter now what does that mean is if you notice on this so here this running count which we are going to see over here is going to be by a column in our case this is customer id okay so what i mean is if you see this three customers id these three customer ids are same right so the counter which i have created is it says for the first entry it says one second entry two third entry three right then similarly what it does is it also does the counting for the next id the moment the uh, this id changes it again resets to one then again it starts from 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 6 then for the next one it is even more than 6 for next one again it starts from 1 when the id changes and then it continues till the time it finds the same id so this is what we are saying over here as running count or incremental counter and this is exactly what we are going to be creating again over here all right so let me just uh, start creating this from scratch for this i'll delete both of these two columns so to create this incremental counter or running count it is important that you have this kind of index column first available in your data right which helps power bi to understand which out of these three which one has to be given counter one and which one has to be given counter two three and so on all right so i hope that problem statement is clear to you now i'm going to show you how you can create this okay so for that i'm going to first uh, delete both of these two Bo both of these two column i will delete first so that i could show you since beginning okay now i'll delete this so remember this kind of indexing is a prerequisite all right for this one all right so that is deleted now in this table all that we have is customer id what we need to do next is go on home tab and go in by the way we are in table view in power bi not the visualization view right so in table view on home tab you see over here data trans transform data okay so we just need to get into that it it might take a bit time right and as soon as we are over here it is showing me in my power bi i have two tables so it is showing me the first table i need to switch to the next table which is ex exactly which is actually required rather i should say right so just in case if you don't have this sorted it is recommended that you sort it you can simply click on this and you can click ascending or descending whatever the way you want right now after that what you need to do is go on add column and then from here index column you click drop down it says that you you want to start it from zero or one i want to start it from one and that is it the index column is created now over here i just need to name it rename it i'm going to say it as serial number if you want you can keep it as uh, the same name right if you want you can keep it as the index number itself okay now this is done we will just go on home tab and click on save close and uh, close and apply okay now as soon as we do that we are back into the table view and over here we are going to start creating the counter column okay so to create the counter column what we're gonna do is let's just try that okay so for that over here you have new column let's just click on this and over here what we're gonna say is let's say counter so i'm going to give you uh, take you step by step through this right so uh, so how do how does it work is first of all we need to do the counting of rows so let's count the rows when you count the rows what what's gonna happen is it says 20 rows so in total in your data you have 20 rows that's what it is giving you but what we are looking for is running counter so to create that we're gonna use this count row inside calculate function okay calculate inside this we are going to use this so first argument is expression which we want calculate function to count number of rows now we need to supply the condition also right if we just keep this 
what's gonna happen let's see if it is giving an error or it's giving us some value it remains on it is saying one 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 two everything right because it's applied into the calculate function right so over here now that uh, this is counting now next we need to provide a condition the condition which I am going to give it to you is not to you but to this thing okay so here I'm going to say that I need to keep this count specific to this ID okay how do I say that so for that I need to say I will use filter criteria and into this first I need to provide the table name then customer ID sorry not customer ID uh, not this thing but customer ID okay where customer ID is equals to earlier customer ID okay let's just see what what happens over here all right so what it is doing is you see for this ID this customer ID there were three entries so it counted number of entries for each of the ID and it has just produced that into it so if you if you have reached till this point then congratulations at you are half in the way okay now the next thing which we need to do is we need to correct it so that it could just let me arrange it for you first so that it could be much readable okay <clears throat> so now, now the next thing which we need to do is we need to make it specific that for this id it should not repeat 333 three, three, rather it should say one two three right so for this id if you see there are two entries and it is saying two two right so that's something which we are going to correct over here again for that what i do is oops, i'll just over here i will say this is called and right and our argument okay so over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say sheet and this time I'm going to say serial number less than equals to sheet serial number earlier serial number earlier sheet serial number all right so hope this is understood by you let's just see if this is giving us the exact output which we are looking for or not oops it just gave us some error so what we need to do is earlier so here what we did is we try to find here it says filter has been used in true and false expression so just give me one there seem to be some bracket issue right so filter is filter has been closed over there now let me just see if this works yeah it worked right so now what do you see over here is you see now this counter has been created for this particular id it says one two three then for this one one two etc right so i just hope that it was simple for you to understand just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out and yeah it is going to be very very useful now if you are really interested in understanding a use case of this then in the next video where i'm going to create a dashboard you please watch that video i'll provide link into the description section as soon as i create the next video and then yeah please just give it a watch and just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out until then happy learning wish you very very all the best